Hello friends. In this video, we will learn the theory of a NAND gate and we will design a NAND gate using AND gate and a NOT gate IC on breadboard. We can see this is the logic symbol of a NAND gate. Here is a D symbol followed by a NOT symbol. This D symbol is the symbol of AND gate and this not is and this not symbol represent a not gate that means a non gate can easily be designed from a and gate and a not gate ic here is the truth table of a non gate when a is 0 and b is 0 then the output is 1 that means when we apply 0 at terminal a 0 at terminal b then we will get 1 at the output. Similarly, when we apply 0 at terminal A, 1 at terminal B, then we will get 1 at the output. This is because in an NAND gate, a NOT gate is present at the output of an AND gate. So, this NOT gate inverts the output of the AND gate and that is why at the output, we get inverted output of the AND gate. Here is the IC diagram of an AND gate. The IC number for AND gate is 7408. From this diagram, we can see in, a, in an AND gate IC, there are four AND gates, one, two, three, four. We will use this first AND gate. That is, pin number one and two are the inputs of this first NOR gate, first AND gate, and three is the output of this AND gate. That is why we have written 1 and 2 here and 3 here. Then the output of this AND gate is connected to the input of the NOT gate. Here is the di IC diagram of a NOT gate. The IC number is 7404. We can see from this diagram in a NOT gate IC there are four there are six NOT gates. We will use this first NOT gates. That is, pin number 1 is the input and 2 is the output. That's why we have written 1 and 2. So, pin number 3 of this AND gate will be connected to pin number 1 of this NOT gate. Here is our 7408 IC. When we keep this IC like this, by keeping this cut mark, that is, you can see, here is a cut mark. By keeping this cut mark to the left side, that is to this side, then the first pin will be pin number 1, then second one 2, 3 and like this and then this one is 7. We have to connect this pin number 7 to our ground terminal of our battery and 8, 9, 10 like this, this one 14, this, this last one. This, this 14 pin has to be connected to VCC terminal of our battery or positive terminal of our battery. Similarly, when we keep this not get IC like this by keeping this cut mark to the left side then first pin will be pin number one then second one two and like this for this not get IC also we have to make this pin number seven ground and this pin number 14 to VCC at first we will insert this IC to our, into our breadboard we have first inserted this 7408 that is AND gate IC and we have kept this cut mark to the left side. So this one pin 1 and this last one 7 and this one 14. Then we will insert this NOT gate IC that is 7404 by keeping this cut mark also to the left side. This is pin 1. Now we will connect the pin number 7 to ground. We will connect this pin number 7 to this row. That means to this row up to this. We will use this row as a ground row. We will connect the negative terminal of our battery to this row. Also, we have to connect this pin that is pin number 7 of the not get to our ground row that we have considered. Then we have to connect this VCC that is 14 pin to our VCC row. We have considered this. You can connect to any 
point of the breadboard of this coulomb because these are already connected internally connected and we will connect it to this row so that we can use this row up to this as vcc row also we have to connect pin number 14 of the not gate to our vcc row we will connect the positive terminal of our battery to this row now from this diagram we can see that pin number 3 of the and get that is output of the end gate is connected to pin number one of the not gate that is input of the not gate so we will connect it now that is here is pin number one to three and then pin number one of the not gate okay now from this diagram we can see that why is the output that is pin number two is the output so we will use an LED that here is my 5mm LED to observe the output and for this LED we need a 100 ohm resistor. So we will connect it now. First we have to connect this any one of the terminal of this resistor to pin number 2 of the not gate then another terminal to any point of the breadboard then from that point we have to connect the positive terminal of our led the longer terminal is positive and the negative term here we have inserted the positive terminal and negative terminal we have to connect it to our ground row now we have to connect the input terminal from this diagram we can see pin number one and two are the inputs of the this uh, and get that is for this diagram pin number one and two are the inputs so we will connect two wires at the input we have connected this red wire at pin one and we also connect this black wire at pin two that means this will be our a and this will be our b terminal now we have to connect our battery to our positive and negative terminal of positive and negative row of our circuit Now here is our 4 volt battery. We will connect this 4 volt battery to our circuit. You can also use a battery of 4 volt, 4.5 volt, 5 volt or 6 volt. You can also this type of 9 volt battery to our circuit because these type of batteries are commonly available in the market. But the recommended voltage for these ICs are 5 volt. So you have to first convert it to 5 volt. If you don't know how to convert this 9 volt battery to 5 volt then you can watch our videos the link of the videos are given in the description of this video you can directly connect it to this but sometimes it may damage the IC so we will now connect the positive negative terminal that is this minus to the to our ground row and we have to connect the positive terminal of this battery to our VCC row. Now our circuit is ready. Now we will observe the output. Now from this not get root table, we can see when A is 0, 0 means we have to connect the terminal A to our ground row. And when B is 0, 0 means again we have to connect it to ground. Then we can see our output is 1. So here the LED is now on so our output is now high when a is 0 0 means we have to connect it to ground and when b is 1 1 means we have to connect it to our vcc row in this case also the output is 1 in this case also the led is on now for the third case when a is 1 1 means we have to connect a to our vcc row and we have to connect terminal b to our ground row because it is 0 in this case also the output is 1 for the last case when a is 1 1 means we have to connect it to vcc it is already connected to vcc and b is 1 1 means b we have to connect it to also vcc now in this case we can see the output is 0 so our led is off in this case so the truth table of our nand gate is verified so thank you for watching this video if you like our videos then please don't forget to subscribe to our channel you can also buy electronics components projects from our website www.dpbtechnology.com Thank you.